and I was kind of new to homeopathy, but the person who wrote it was not new to homeopathy. They were very much out there in terms of, of the way in which they thought about what illness, wellness was all about. And he said that disease is the unwillingness to fulfill the will of your own spirit. And I thought that asks more questions than it does answer them actually for me. And how do you provide solutions that might have those kind of issues? But it's a fascinating book because you're talking about homeopathy on the basis of, the, of evolving humanity rather than just, well, they've got colitis <laughs> or they've got eczema or they want to sort out a broken wrist <laughs> and it needs to heal a little bit more quickly. How do we encourage that process? This is talking about the evolution of humans. <laughs> what? I just wanted to help people get well again. <laughs> With that disease is the unwillingness to fill the will of your own spirit. It just implies that there is a, there is a stuckness somewhere that means there is resistance that produces symptoms. There is a difference between perhaps what you think and what you say, what you feel and what you do, how that relates to disorders that someone has brought with them from birth. I don't know. I don't, I don't know whether it applies or not. I'm thinking about that. Sometimes I might ask, if you had three wishes, what would they be? I am the magic genie. No, I'm not. Um, and quite often a child might say they would like to have a million pounds which is an interesting answer, actually. And I'd say, what would you spend it on? And they hadn't got that far. <laughs> what, does, what does a million pounds do for you? What does that, sometimes it's security, sometimes it's freedom, sometimes it's, but it's really insightful what someone might say to, to we have three wishes. One chap said he wished he didn't have a brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that my parents would stop arguing. <laughs> And they're sitting there. Those conversations have impact even before you've prescribed anything. But sometimes it's going to have to be the medicine that helps someone get, get better. You know, if, you know, when someone is falling apart, I think a holistic chat isn't going to be enough. 